Thank you, Kelly. 715 right now. Pets are often considered a huge part of a family, but sometimes these family members get left behind in a disaster. So what do you need to know to help your pets stay safe? Joining us now with tips is Dr. Christina Meliareses with Surf Paws Animal Hospital. Good morning. Good morning. And you brought two very adorable <laughs> family members with you. Who did yes. you bring? Today to go over everything with me is my dog Han Solo and Aris. Han Solo, we've seen both. Thank yes, you for coming. <laughs> Okay, now, for, for humans, we make emergency plans in case of disaster, but sometimes the pets are left out. What do we need to plan for a pet? So for me, it's not waiting till a disaster happens. It's today. Have a plan in, um, organized already that includes them. Mm -hmm. So a big part of that is where will you go if you have to evacuate? What, what hotels take pets mm -hmm. or a friend outside of the area that may be affected that is willing to take your family in and your pets um, or just different areas you can go shelters that do accept pets a lot more at least here in Hawaii are accepting pets so that's a great thing to know okay and for humans we buy bottled water non-perishable mm -hmm. goods before the disaster strikes we should have one now actually an emergency kit yes. what do you need to buy for your pet so this is my emergency kit. It's actually one of my cat's carriers. Mm -hmm. Inside it, at all times, I have a few things that are important. A seven-day supply of food for each pet, not just for all your pets if you have multiples. I use just, this is empty, but I use a sealed bag of dry food that I know they'll eat. Mm -hmm. uh, an airtight container that you need to switch off every now and then if you keep it all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, water, again, a seven-day supply for each pet. Uh, medications, if your pets are on any medications, that's really important that you have it in your uh, kit. And also, some pets get really nervous. Right. So having a product, this is just a product here that helps calm them down. This one right here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, something you know your pet best. So what will happen if there's thunderstorms, if there's a lot of rain or noise in an area that they're not familiar with? I like to have a little bit of... Um, plastic bags, blanket, <laughs> right? maybe for cats a litter pan and litter, um, a toy that they really love. Very important, I took off his collar to show you. Collar with identification on it, name, ad uh, address, phone numbers you can be reached at. Okay, any other tips? Um, really important that they're microchipped ahead of time in case something does happen and they get separated from you. And really, please don't ever tie your pets to any outside areas or leave them behind. There's always a solution and that's why planning ahead is really important, especially in these times. Yeah, that's a very, very good tip. All right. Thank you so much, doctor, for being here. All right, we'll see you again later. <laughs> All right.